My name is Atima Yinje and I am the Zwide Coordinator for the Khaleesi Foundation. Being a part of the Sia Pakama program has been uh, incredible. The work that everyone, all the partners and ourselves have put into the program and to seeing it thrive the way it has in the last year and a half and seeing a lot of the visions and the conversations come to life has really been heartwarming and, and quite incredible to say the least. Nothing is in isolation really, you know, in life in general, so everything moves together. So we found that by incorporating education and sport into the schools, there was an added need to then also incorporate food security, you know, so the work is important because now it's all about tying all of those things together and seeing the holistic development of the individual. The highlights of the program is the introduction in terms of sport in our public school as it is one of the challenges in our schools that most of the schools they do not have sports court but through the Siapakama program we manage to ensure that the schools have the sport element in the classroom as well as in the field. Some of the best highlights from the past year and a half is the opportunities that have been given to previously unemployed youth. We've been in a position where we're able to offer them practical work experience so that they can understand what the working life is like. You know, it's more of a stepping stone for them to gain experience, to learn a lot of other skills, you know, that they would need when they get to the working world. This platform has given girls an opportunity to learn rugby, play rugby, you know. Some have been also been playing soccer, but like those dominantly or predominantly are male-dominated sports. The highlights of the year so far is that um, firstly, when I was a coach, coaching, doing phys with the kids, seeing how they enjoy being in and around, outside of the field, running around. Um, also seeing the reactions when they win trophies, when they play, um, getting the emotions out of them was just a good reflection for me as a coach and giving back to the kids. It's been really exciting working on the Sia Pakama program because we've been working with food preparers, training them in basic food handling procedures as well as general health and safety procedures, mostly to make sure that the learners get nutritious meals. Health is a basic human right and every child needs access to healthy food. We also do regular body composition assessments with the learners to identify children who are underweight for the age or overweight for the age and to make sure mostly that those children get the right nutritional needs. We have focused more on schools. We have done the nutritional assessment for Ubuntu school, which is also part of their Parama project. And we have also trained the school food preparers. And based on the feedback we have gained or we have received back from the school, I think they are quite impressed with what the project is trying to do. A big part of our Kazibantu project are also our physical education workshops where we journey with the life skills and the life orientation teachers as well as our Sia Pakama coaches to make sure that we offer purposeful physical education.